What is up, everybody? Well, guess what? We're in a special place. First of all, I'm with Adam Baker, and he is the new owner of this special place. And this special place is Benville Plantation, which now they're calling Benville Outdoors. Correct. So you just you just acquired the property, yeah. dude. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. That's Thanks awesome. Thanks for coming out and fishing the lakes with us. No, it's it's great. I met I met Adam uh, about a year and a half ago down in Clewiston, and he's a passion for fishing, of course. He has a passion for having some of the best lakes in the country. And so he's got some property in Central Florida, and now you have this here. So, dude, I'm, I'm so excited. Excellent, man. Well, let's go on and catch some fish. <laughs> Hopefully right? we're gonna catch some. Hopefully we're gonna catch some big ones. Now it's it's November. It's cold. Obviously, I got my big puffy jacket on. We're gonna go. So a little backstory quickly is when I first moved up here years ago in college, I, I went to school in Gainesville, and and that building right there was the first building on this property. I used to come out here and fish all the time and do stuff. And so now I'm back. You know, I've been here a few times since then, but now I'm back, so I'm excited. This is Thomas Lake here. We're gonna go fish. How many lakes do you have on the property? There's about 20 lakes. 20 lakes. So we have 20 lakes here. They have 20 lakes here, and Adam has hired three or four biologists. They're all working on different parts of the property. Uh, you know, it, they're gonna just, they're stocking it with bait, doing all kinds of different things to kind of build this thing up, so. Yeah. What's neat about Benville, and I know a lot of you have heard of Benville, with new management that Adam's doing with the biologists, they're really focusing. They've got some great lakes already. This lake here, uh, I haven't been to in a long time. I told myself, I gotta fish Thomas, I gotta fish Thomas. So there's some hydrilla back here in the back. We're gonna go see if we can't catch a big one. Now, here's the thing, there's 12 pounders here. You had 11 something the other day, like they 11 something a couple weeks ago. 10-4 and a 12-3. Okay, let's go. Got the panoptics guys and i think what we're going to try to do because it's cold we're going to flip this hydrilla right here we're also going to throw some crankbaits some chatterbaits and some a rigs out deep so anyways enough talking this kind of fishing <clears throat> that guy mike i'm going to hook you up with though he's he's got all kind of ideas on how to grow big big bass Oh, I had one. Dang it. Had a bite. I don't know why I missed him. But I sure did. He snatched the, the pants right off that thing. Oh, he took the whole thing out? Oh, yeah. Everything is a mess in this boat. Three, four days of fishing. Nobody's cleaned it. Little points like this. Little bottlenecks is what I call them. Are good because water can flow through here and it's usually a, like a ridge or a hot spot so a place like this would be a a hot there more over here no just right that whole point just that this point and right there where it drops off is just a what i call a high percentage area Digging right here on my bait. That's a giant. He almost ate it. He, he came out to eat it and he almost did. Like a really big one. Like a really big one. I didn't think he would do that, but he did it. Came up on it. So that's a predatory fish. It's not a carp because he came up on it. I didn't expect it. He was out here suspended on these on this bait. That was a big fish. Got him? Yeah. Got him. Little guy. Got him. I bet this can drop on the ground. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looky there. <laughs> These fish like those isolated clumps out there? They do, yeah. 
They do. It, and and, it, and it, the reason is, it's not that, and, and, they, and they do like it because there's just a wide range of opportunities for them. But the reason fishermen like them even better is because, like, there could be just as, oh, there's one. A little better fish. Look at that. That felt good there, Adam. Look at that one, dude, laying on top of that mat. That's beautiful right there, dude. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish, dude. Let me power pull down. Let's probably get another one right here. Right there, guys. Check that out. I feel bad talking about this bait right here. Adam, this is a Guggen Baits Nuke Punch. You know why I feel bad about it? Because it's not available yet. And everybody's like, I want it. But I'm telling you, I'm, that's like my favorite bait right now. Look at that one, dude. That's a nice fish. I'm gonna put her in the live well, and then we can take a nice picture at the end of the day, if you don't mind. Look at that, we've just been out here a few minutes, guys. I saw some giant fish. Oh, you got one? Yeah. He's got one, too. Oh, a nice fish. There you go. Another good one. There you go. Quite as big as that one, but... Look at that. Here, grab it. Two for one. There you go. <laughs> Mine's bigger. Here's the bigger. <laughs> All right, I'll stick him in All the right. box, too. Just been out here a few yeah. minutes, guys. But we went down to the back side of this thing. We saw, those are the biggest marks I've ever seen in my life on panoptics. But look, boom, right there. We came back down this little edge. And this might be where they are. So we'll fish out here for a little bit longer. And I, I hate that I have to leave so soon, dude, because I, I don't have to, but I have to. Okay. Yeah. So there's one right there. There's one right there. That's a big fish, dude. Look at him. Oh, yeah, look oh, at the tail. Sure. You can see the whole. That's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> I saw that. You know what I'm now saying I now. Saw, yeah, I saw like, the tail. The, he's swimming that way. Yeah, like that's a whole other level of big, dude. That's Moby Dick. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen stuff like that. Yeah, I saw his tail flash. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, I've fished with Panoptics, the live scope, for years, and I've never seen literal cartoon looking fish like that with tail moving and everything, like big, like bellies dragging. Those are big ones back there. That's a big one. That's a big one. Big fish. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, should be big. He's in there somewhere. I see. Hello? I see stuff. Oh, yeah, I see. I don't know. It's like a present, dude. We don't know. We don't quite know yet. It's a lot of tail. It's a lot of tail, dude. A lot of tail. I love it. There goes my chance to win. No. Yeah. Look at that one, dude. Yeah. Quack, quack, quack. Look, they came off literally in my hand. Look at that bass. Look at how white that fish is. Dude. Wow. Guys, look at that. Benville Plantation, baby. Benville Outdoors. Right there. Okay. Put him with our pictures. Yeah. yeah. Put him with my picture. There you go. You're kicking picture. your butt, dude. That is true. I'm gonna hold your fish That's at right. this rate. We we bet a we bet a one acre one <laughs> acre challenge. I can build a house out here one there day. There you go. I just want one acre on one of these ponds. <laughs> Look at that. All right, the sticker in the box. Yeah. I'm not a dumb guy, but. There you go. There you go. Nice. Look at that. I got it. Give me the door. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you, you go. Pictures or no? Might as well. A little chatterbait action right down that little trail. Very cool. Now we're tied. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. 
from the yeah, yeah, I'll tell you that. A jaw there a lot of jaw there this is the best part of doing this dude look look you don't you don't know what look at this look at this it just keeps coming he just keeps coming it's the gift that keeps giving look at that dude he's off look the weight the hook is in the grass look at this the hook is here it went through him look at that all the way through that is crazy Dude, it's gonna do nothing but get better from here. Benville Plantation. Better get you some. You better get you some. No, I'll never catch up. Beautiful fish right there. How healthy these fish are. Thick. Look at how thick that fish is. All right, we're working on a good photo. Hey, thank you, bro. Thanks for inviting me out. Anytime. It's awesome. You saw that one, didn't you? Well, there was a bunch that were like cruising this edge. There he is. Nice. I could see him on the live scope. Isn't that cool? Like, here's an interesting fact, right? How the bigger, like people wonder like, how, how, do, how do these people like consistently win tournaments and how do you consistently catch bigger fish? Like we've been flipping, I've you've gotten, Four, you've got four bites with chatterbait, and they've all been decent fish. Two pounds or less. The years are well. No, yours are like two to three or whatever. But mine are big. Right. Flipping, just goes to show you how like that that size fish thinks differently than the big fish. You know what I mean? Right. And every day is a little different. It's not. Like, it's not like every day those big ones are going to be in here. Right. They, they're going to do other things. But it's just interesting to see the difference, right? Yep. Yeah. It is. And that's why I lose tournaments and you win tournaments. <laughs> I say that, then I catch it. I <laughs> have two pounder. Three fish, three casts for three fish. Hey. You got two, I got one. Hey! <laughs> Shoo! Oh, if you want to catch us, right, I'll take you. I'll take you to. Got it. Good. Look at there. Little left side, left side, good left side. There you go. Hey, look at you. Little chatterbug action. Little chatterbug action. Tell you what, man. And and guys, I'm telling you right now, like I told Adam, I said, I've got I've got a little bit of time to come by. We're, we're, we're passing back through from Seminole. And he's like, dude, please stop in. You know, we we uh we just got the property, stop in, check it out. It's been years since I've been here. So, but what the the one thing that was the one thing that's really, really cool is that he's like, you know, the fishing's been a little tough. Nobody's been out here much. You know, it's just kind of a slow time of the year. And, of course, cold front hits. You know, it's, it's terrible everywhere right now. And this still is a great day. <laughs> like, he's, like, apologizing. Like, I'm sorry they're not biting all that good. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> and the other thing is there's, you know, we can go flip and throw chatterbaits. Or we can go to another lake and go fish, like, drop-offs. Or we can go to another lake and flip bushes. I mean, you have so many different things to do out here. It's awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do now, guys, uh, we've, got, we've got, like, literally, I told my wife we're gonna leave at one o'clock. I have an hour. I have an hour and two minutes. Yeah. Let's go to that other lake that you said. So this is the, they have uh, boat storage here as well. So you can park your boat underneath a covered, covered, do you look at all these highs? I've never fished in there, but I guarantee you they're in there. You go flipping that. Oh yeah, look at all that. Down that bank, 100%. Real far run around this lake, right? Real far run? Not real far, but I could probably go to the that cut down there just before the cut. 
This looks good right here. Dude. We can fish our point. Everywhere. Water clarity in this one's totally different, and it's deeper. And here's the other thing, guys. Check this out on Garmin. So they they spent the time and they sent in the maps. They contoured like all the contours of these lakes. So as you come here and fish, you can um, you can see the contours. Yeah. I think once you figure out what chapter is, then this shit is you. Totally different deal, of course, here. You need a super. Oh, golly, that was a big bite. Look at that! Would you just look at it? First cast. First cast. Right? Uh, yeah. Guys. Nice one. All right. Yeah. Put him in the live boat for a good picture. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do photos now of bass in this lake because we let the other ones go. Look at that. Good job, man. <laughs> nice. Thanks, bro. Nice one. If there was a lake right over there that you can catch one every cast just about in every direction good ones too it wouldn't be as fun as is this to me like figuring out like where are the fish i don't see any here there's a bunch over there oh i was right about that oh bam i got one you know it's that sense of like hunting yeah i'm, I'm with you for you because you end up finding them Both right the sure i understand yeah 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 you know, let's go catch right oh yeah I mean, literally, you can go all the way forward, it doesn't stop. You gotta put in drive and push it forward. That's how I stopped from going in the water. Uh. <laughs> now, this lake is different because it has hydrilla and milfoil mix, but it's very deep. This water here is, uh, Grass is growing all the way at 20 foot. 20 feet, I should say. My wife always corrects me when I say that. 65 P Line X braid. 7.6 Pro Series. Heavy. Right there. That's the ones we designed. We designed these. It's a Pro Series, so I work with favorite rods, and so does like six or eight other good pros, and we all designed these rods, like went back and forth with them. So this is tournament ready rods. Like, super good but they're not crazy expensive like they're they're good durable rods that's what i use in tournaments and then uh i just i haven't said anything about this reel yet because i wasn't sure this is a favorite reel okay i don't even know what it's called it's an eight and one i don't even know if it's available yet they just i got opened a box up the other day and there it was and i am pleasantly surprised i fished with it a couple times now and it's super smooth it's quiet honestly super quiet and it hasn't, I mean, it's lasted now. I've had it on three or four trips. So that little reel, I don't think it's that expensive either, but it's just a good solid A plus on that. So, uh, and it looks good on that rod too, by the way. They should just call it the Pro Series Reel. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh my oh. gosh. Is that the shock Yeah. Here's just putting all their stuff out. What are they gonna do? They're putting uh, feeders out on the lake. Okay. Dang it. I played tug of war with him for a second. That truck was. Come there he is. Oh, he's on. Guy, what, what do you like to just say in five minutes or four minutes you're gonna catch a fish every time? <laughs> All right, this is not fair, man. I gotta go. I'm, I'm happy, but I don't know how happy I am. <laughs> All right, I'll call you back. We gotta get the other ones out of the wall too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta take a photo. All right, that's yeah. it. We gotta go. All right. We have to go. I have to make it home. It's exactly. Uh, we turned the graph off, so I can't see yeah. the time. But it's just a smidgen past one. So um, my wife didn't watch the video, so she won't know. It's no big deal. But dude, hey, Time for real. Man. Seriously, Thanks that was out. awesome. So guys, again, Benville Outdoors. Uh, we're gonna drop some links down below. Lots of opportunities here. If you got a family vacation, a family uh, you work for a company wants to do a family trip, 
Um, I've got everything to do here, so I'm sure you'll be getting a few phone calls. Got it, thanks. I'll be back. And like I said, we're gonna work on some things here. We're gonna be doing some projects here on the property that uh, be pretty cool, so you guys stay tuned for all that neat stuff. We'll see you. All right. Bam!